Hi everybody, this is Mario from the Dub Shop. Today we are going to install Tuner Studio for the first time and uh, start up a, a project for you. So we will start by going to uh, tunerstudio.com. Here you will find your uh, tuning software so you can download Tuner Studio MS. I'm going to use the alternate Tuner Studio download site because it seems to be running faster today. So click on that link. I'm just going to save to the desktop. So while that's downloading, um, it would be a good time to actually register your your uh, Tuner Studio. You can go ahead and purchase that in their uh, product section. Shop now, sorry. Um, here's some different packages. I run the uh, Tuner Studio Ultra with uh, Megalog Viewer HD. It's a great package. You might not need all that, so um, you could just go to combos find a different combo deal that you like that incorporates both uh, Tuner Studio MS and Megalog Viewer. $80, it's well worth it. You will get like the auto-tune features that everybody wants, um, scatter plots, a lot of... Uh, you can just analyze the data a lot better. And they have like Bluetooth modules and stuff like that if, if you want to connect via Bluetooth. Alright, so it looks like we are downloaded. We'll go ahead and close out of this. Go ahead and double click our Tuner Studio. Let that run. Yes, we want to install it. We'll accept, accept the terms. Go ahead and just click through. Should install pretty quickly. There we go. We want to launch it. So click finish. All right. You'll notice I've, I'm already registered for Tuner Studio, so it shows that I'm registered. Um, so here you go. Here's the basic. Uh, here's your dashboard. So once you're here, You'll need to have an ECU ready to be powered up in your car to create your project. So let's go up here to create new project. I'm going to call this shop ECU. With our power turned on. And the USB cable connected to the, to the ECU. I'll go ahead and click detect. Now it's scanning your serial ports or your USB adapter um, for any controllers that are hooked up to the computer. There it's found it, so I'll go ahead and click Accept. And then we can hit Next. This is just going to be a standard configuration here. You don't need to make any changes. So we can go ahead and click Next on this as well. And there it's uh, tested the port for us. It showed successful connection. We're going to hit next again. Here we can pick a default dash layout. Um, this is what people typically use. But there's others that you can pick from as well. Just different looks, different feels. We'll go ahead and stick with the default. Go ahead and click Finish. It is now connected to the ECU. Down in the bottom right, you can see the communication. Clicking back and forth of Send and Receive. 
the bottom left, it shows us that we are online with the shop ECU. And I am able to manipulate controls. I'm using a gym stim, so I can do this on my bench. So I'm able to do throttle position, coolant tab, make changes to the O2 sensor. So that's it. Pretty quick uh, little tutorial there. If you like where these are headed and want to see more, please like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next, and I'll be happy to do that. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.